Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I'm going to discuss some potential plans to reopen theme parks as soon as next month. Um, so, as you know, yesterday, Donald Trump announced a three-phase reopening plan, um, a general guideline reopening plan um, for the United States to reopen, uh, get back into business and reopen the economy. Each governor, governor can pick and choose which one, or uh, can go at their own pace uh, as to when they want to reopen states. But the general uh, three-phase uh, three plan is right here. So phase one, restaurants, movie theaters, sporting venues, places of worship and gyms can reopen if they observe strict social distancing. And elective surgeries can resume when appropriate on an outpatient basis. Schools can close from main shut and visits, visits to senior living facilities and hospitals should be prohibited. Bars remain closed, high risk individuals should remain at home. If um, cases continue to go on the downward trend, then uh, companies can go to, or uh, states can go to phase two, which includes schools and organized youth activities like camps can reopen, non essential travel can resume, and people can start circulating in parks, outdoor recreation, recreational, recreational avenue areas. Shopping area centers while avoiding gatherings of more than 50 individuals unless, unless unspecified precautionary measures are taken. Restaurants, movie theaters, and other large venues can operate under moderate social distancing rules. Vulnerable individuals will uh, should obviously continue to shelter in place, and employer, employers should continue to encourage <laughs> telework whenever possible. Common areas where parts or people Congregate and closed quarters should be closed. Bars can operate with diminished standing room occupancy. Phase three, individuals can resume public interactions with practice social distancing. Um, employees can resume unrestricted staffing of um, workplaces. Large public venues can operate under limited social distancing rules. Visits to senior care facilities and hospitals can resume. So, to move on to the next um, phase, you have to have two weeks of social, two weeks of um downward a downward trend in cases so if they were to start that let's say monday two weeks phase one state would be uh two weeks would be monday's april 20th two weeks is may 4th another two weeks is may 18th and then another two weeks is june 1st and the that will be the, the june 1st would be the phase three initiation um, and that is the, uh, that would be the norm, everything goes back to normal. So, if states do this, and I know Florida opened up, northern Florida opened up their beaches last, uh, or yes, last evening for the first four days today. And next week, Texas is opening up some stuff. And LA County next month is going to open up some shopping centers they plan to. Um, but if, States observe this, and there are the downward cases, the downward trend in cases. Then it's highly likely that by June first, things like Six Flags, Universal, and Disney all of them could reopen, and um, be it could be they can be going back to normal. And parks could be reopened again by June first. Florida again is starting kind of like now, so potentially Disney World could potentially open even even open earlier. Now there's an article that um, that I saw today yesterday about uh, the governor, or di the Disney company, person from the Disney company, being on the Florida's board for like we are economic advisory board for reopening the state. And today it was announced that Bob Iger is on California's board. Um, economic advisory board for reopening the state. So that should definitely be who Disney and it should uh, Disney fans. I would, if I was a Disney fan, I'd be excited because with a, a, the CEO or the a high level Disney top executive being on the economic board, uh, there's definitely a lot of political influence there to potentially reopen Disneyland sooner than maybe even other Disney parks and sooner than maybe even those national guidelines. Um, so there's some definitely good hope here 
um, as the trends have been pretty down or flat and they're starting to decrease um, in just about almost every area of the state, um, according to the Trump's numbers that he gave out. 30% um, of this country has had um, zero cases in the past seven days. I assume those are places like maybe you know, Montana, Idaho, people, uh, states with few people, few people and few people that live close to each other and states that probably never had many cases in the first place. But that's a good, um, that's still a good, um, good indication. Um, and again, here in LA County, we flattened out and we've been on the downward trend. Had a couple of spikes like one today and a couple, a couple of days ago. But before that, we've been, instead of 700 new cases a day, we've been about in the two, two to 400 range, um, which is a definite downward trend and should continue <laughs> throughout the next couple of weeks, next few weeks as well. Also significant progress being made on treatments and um, even an Israeli company is making a vaccine that if they continue to do as well, someone in New Jersey used it and completely recovered uh, or here. And it uh, has a 100% success rate in Israel. And again, that person in New Jersey and should, uh, if they say it could be available in the fall, if everything goes well, it could be available this fall for high level, or uh, for frontline people like uh, grocery store workers, medical uh, professionals, before expanding to everyone potentially later on in the winter or early next year. But what do you guys think of all this news? What is the first theme park you guys will be going to? And what ride, what ride are you really missing that you really cannot wait to ride and that you absolutely just got to ride uh, as soon as you get into the park? Comment your thoughts below. Um, and as always, subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates and updates on when things will be opening and this new story as well. And as always, have a fantastic